Hi, I'm Paqueta12 and today I will show you a way to do truchette tiles which is actually the GLSL method but does not involve any line of code. I suggest you to check this wonderful tutorial. I'm a huge fan of this guy and I'll uh, give you the link in the uh, description below. And now let's see how we do this in Touch Designer. So let's start clean. First, we need uh, to build um, a grid or um, better said a UV. OK, so because we'll work in uh, textures, so we use a ramp top and um, here I'll have uh, the values for the X axis. OK, and uh, let's uh, set this 32 mono okay and for the resolution let's set uh, a constant chop okay and uh, resolution okay what else uh, we might need here uh, it's a uh, thickness okay so i know maybe 0.3 and resolution is uh, 1024. OK, so let's use this uh, number here. OK, and now if we uh, flip and uh, bottom left, we have the Y values. And now we use reorder. OK, and uh, we say here either uh, RG or uh, I'll go with uh, RGBA 32, right? And uh, I'll take the second input for the Y and uh, for the blue, I'll have zero. Now we have the UV and uh, if we um, build a grid out of this, we can either uh, go here and change the period. You see, uh, we got uh, UV chocolate or I prefer to leave this uh, as it was and here I use uh, transform top and um, for the um, for the scale we need uh, something like uh, divisions or grid so grid 8 okay let's use that number here for the scale and go for 1 divided by grid okay and now we say uh, repeat and uh, to have them starting from the the uh, bottom left corner we go here and pivot it's zero zero okay now if we use uh, a mat okay and uh, we want to add the X and Y values in, uh, in a single channel. So that means the end result of this operator, it will be mono. Okay. And now I want to do this uh, add operation. Yeah. But instead, I only want to take in consideration the R and G uh, channel, not alpha and B. So now I have these uh, uh, ramps, okay, and uh, you you can have this uh, uh, a little bit different if uh, you split the X and Y like uh, like so. Use uh, reorder, and uh, yes, this will be mono, okay, and we'll take the red, and therefore I use color red and uh, I need another one which I will color green and take the the green so those two here if I add them okay it's the same thing okay so now the uh, the UV the values are between um, zero and one, and uh, in terms of of uh, placing the points in space, let's say if we want this grid in the middle center, 
then uh, we use uh, a math top here to rearrange the values so okay here it's uh, minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 now I'm using the experimental version and I I have um, here some some uh, wonderful uh, features but uh, you will uh, you'll be good with the uh, official release so you'll have that uh, too here okay and uh, uh, okay here it's uh, it's wrong yeah now the 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 grid it's uh, it's uh, perfect uh, in a in a middle so uh, yeah we have these uh, ramps and now if i use um, something to absolute uh, the values inside this texture because some of them are uh, uh, negative uh, i can use math okay and here we go positive right and uh, we get this uh, nice uh, mirror uh, ramps and now we use uh, chroma key and we want to cut out some values and if we set the minimum to 0 4 and let's say 0 6 here we have uh, some lines and uh, i would like to see the grid here uh, but not not this one instead i use uh, edge here and um, okay let's uh, have this mono also okay oh no no instead I, i'll use red for the color okay and uh, let's put a null here and if i want to see the null but not not here not here instead i split the screen and i i put the, the null uh, here in the right um, side and uh, i'll disable it from the left one okay okay now the the colors are uh, are um, a bit uh, uh, strange and uh, we'll cover this in a future tutorial but if we use here uh, math and uh, ceiling now we have uh, perfect lines right and uh, we need to uh, in uh, let's 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 put the, the the grid so we use a select top and i select this uh, grid right here okay and I multiply or over 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 okay and uh, I need this uh, operator to be 32 okay now we have the grid for um, um, a good to share the the output lines uh, has to be in a um, same for for uh, any rotation so uh, we have them good here in a, a perfect middle of the edge so um, we need a couple of those squares uh, have a different uh, line orientation so um, we can either uh, rotate this uh, uh, texture right or we use uh, uh, subtract so what if we subtract uh, y from x values we get uh, the the different um, ramp the one we need so uh, again we use the same uh, uh, operators like above okay we're not good here let's see no. i don't know why we we get that uh, so again chroma here 0 0.4 0 0.6 now we good okay and uh, to choose uh, randomly between uh, those two two texture uh, 
according with some some uh, area in our grid we use uh, a noise top and the resolution will be uh, similar to the grid so we use this value for the resolution and the nearest pixels 32 okay now we need uh, uh, something uh, with values either 0 or 1 and uh, here uh, we have a bunch of them in between we can solve that by using a level and uh, here we we go in a step tab and if you want to have two colors we say one divided by two or uh, one divided by three if we want three colors and so on we are good with uh, with this and uh, okay now I will want to multiply one of those two textures with my level here so I use multiply right and uh, okay and only some of them uh, are uh, taken um, into display and now I use uh, uh, another level but this time let's set the nearest pixels okay uh, this time I use invert okay and I will multiply with uh, the other texture okay now now we add them and uh, yeah the truche it's uh, it's done so what else uh, we we need let's see uh, we don't uh, do anything with the uh, thickness so uh, here in the chroma key where we set the the desired uh, values uh, for uh, for our lines actually the, the thickness uh, we can say uh, instead of 0 0.4 we say 0 0.5 minus half of the thickness so uh, let's take uh, the thickness here and then we say 0 0.5 minus uh, thickness divided by 2 and uh, here we use uh, plus okay now if we change the thickness the the screen will update okay another thing that uh, uh, it's needed here it's uh, some some motion and um, we can do this here so um, let's use a null here and uh, because I want to add another operator and uh, it will be transform okay and I want to have a, a motion on X axis uh, ABS time dot seconds oh so we need repeat obviously it's too fast so I divide it by 20 or 15 okay now um, we need to adjust uh, for uh, this noise right here so uh, this texture is 8 pixels this one is also 8 we are good in the end because we composite uh, or we multiply like this so uh, those uh, operators will take the the uh, resolution set by the um, second input right here and uh, we need to resize here resolution okay and we resize this uh, by the 
resolution we have not like this first we set the uh, custom resolution okay and let's set uh, nearest pixels okay and after we done this we use the same transform here copy past and uh, okay and we good now we disable the the red grid and we can do this here in uh, edge by uh, set the strength to zero and we see we have some some uh, artifacts uh, like uh, ugly little lines and uh, if we let's select uh, all the operators the texture operator we have and set the nearest pixel for input smoothness and now we we are clean so yeah this was the my tutorial and um, i really hope you liked it and uh, yeah see you in the next one bye